It sounds like maybe you believe uh, the more important story of the two is going to be Intel. Yes, uh, it was a sobering call. You know, they've got a new CEO, Pat Gelsinger, who was on the call uh, late at VMware, 30 years at Intel before taking that. Talked mo- twice about uh, being back at home. That's how he identified Intel. Uh, but home is sobering because home is a place that fell behind AMD. Uh, they haven't been able to make this this seven nanometer. Uh, there was hope at the end. They discussed about making the three nanometer, but that would be offshore. They'd be done with Taiwan Semi. It was a sobering call, Carl, because it was about a company that was the leader that is no longer the leader. And they took the stock down themselves because they were uh, very, uh, let's say, honest about where they were in terms of production of the most important chip. And during a boom time, David, Sometimes you're on a team and the team doesn't win. And it's a team that's one and one and one. The Intel was the Yan- were the Yankees, and they're not anymore. And it was very tough to listen to. They become, I don't know, uh, uh, the Mets. Well, first of all, if they become the Mets, then they're in good shape. All right. Oh. Uh, and I, I, can, <laughs> I can spend the next two hours going through all the reasons why, but this is not WFAN, and so we will not do that. Uh, at this moment. But I would mention the stock was up, what, 7% going into the close People because of course... People should listen to the conference rem- call. Right, but remember, they reported the earnings while the market was open. Uh, the reason they state is because of potentially a hack that somebody got a hold of, uh, of uh, through an illicit action that had not involved any unintentional disclosure by the company. They got involved of a graphic from the quarterly earnings statement, so the company decided to move forward by 10 minutes or whatever it might have been, its, uh, its announcement. And so the stock did trade up dramatically on the revenue beat, Jim. So what we're giving up now is really only what it gained. In fact, not even as much as it gained yesterday prior to the close. No, that's very true. And, and I think that the people who bought it were just simply lo- looking at the top line and bottom line saying, wow, Intel is participating in this incredible uh, chip shortage that's raising everybody's prices. I mean, PCs have been through the roof, right? That's, three, that's one of the are key amazing. reasons. PCs are amazing. Uh, Dell's great. Uh, you, um, HP's being, uh, doing a terrific job. Uh, obviously, uh, Apple, the Macs are, are very, very strong. I, I think that if you want to base uh, a theory about PCs, that's fine. But you really need data center. Uh, and, and more importantly, Intel is a technological leader. Uh, so it, it, there's a lot of businesses that they compete against AMD and NVIDIA. And, Carl, in both cases, AMD and NVIDIA have won. So now, Pat... Gelsinger has to be thinking about 2023. Uh, there are people wanting to think about 2022, mm-hmm. but it's 2023. And if they come back, uh, if you're buying it now for 2023, that is very, very difficult because that means you've got a, a real valley you got to see through. A uh, great balance sheet, uh, uh, always uh, a, a company that everyone knows is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, deep in the firmament of semis. But the idea that they're not going to build their own fabs and once again, another outfit that is dependent upon Taiwan Semi, which has about 55 percent of the foundry space now. Well, all it does is put more pressure on the United States to protect Taiwan. And people have to understand that in the in the semi world, it's the single most important thing, not whether uh, restoration hardware RH makes its furniture in China or Vietnam. It's about protecting Taiwan, because if Taiwan semi were cut off from the United States, all the companies, all the companies that make chips in this country would find you would see that we don't really make chips. We just make this. But he did. He did say on the call, Gelsinger, right. and it was interesting to have what? him on that call, Jim, as well. Was that it by 2023? They still expect a majority of their products to be made. Internally, I mean, but let's the three, actually the three nanometers, the key one, David. Right. Which they're not anywhere near. Right. That's it's the three because they've missed the seven. Yes. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.